Hey guys, Kyle here, and today we're going to go over just five basic geometric constructions, and we're going to start from just copying a, a simple line segment, and we'll call this line segment AB. Now, in order to start, we'll just draw any simple line using our straight edge, and make sure not to use a ruler to cheat, or at least measure, and we'll call one of the endpoints of this line A prime. In order to copy the length of the segment that we're given, we'll just set the radius of our compass equal to that of the line segment. So one end of the compass on one endpoint, and the other end on the other endpoint. And we will copy that radius over to our line and draw an arc on one end. Where that arc intersects the line that we've drawn, that's going to be the other endpoint of our line segment, and we'll just call that B prime. And there we have our line segment. Now when we're copying an angle, we'll first start with just any ray, again using just your straight edge. And once again, we'll call the endpoint of this, a, uh, of this ray A prime. Next, we'll take our compass and set that just equal to any radius that you want and draw an arc on the original angle that intersects both rays of the angle. And then we'll use the same radius to draw, an to draw an arc on the ray of our copy. And we'll call the intersection of the ray and the arc B prime here. And on the original, it'll be just B. And Finally, or well, second to last step, we'll, we'll copy the radius from point B to the intersection of the arc and the other ray, which we'll call point C. So we're just copying the length BC, and we'll draw an arc from B prime, and sorry if my hand's blocking it there. We'll copy that arc, and the intersection of those two arcs is C prime. If we draw an R ray from A prime to C prime, we'll have successfully copied the angle, angle A. Oh, not very straight, but in any case, this works basically because we have kind of formed an SSS triangle. So we have AB is congruent to the segment A prime B prime here because we simply used just the radius AB. So um, basically we copied the segment AB and we made A prime B prime. And for A to C prime, or sorry, A prime to C prime, that's also going to be the congruent to AC because it's on that same arc as A prime B prime. So it's on that same arc, so it must be the same length. And between B prime and C prime, and uh, B and C, we know that the distance between them is the same because we copied the arc length, or the arc from B to C. And it's the same radius there, so in essence, we know that B prime C prime, the, the line segment B prime C prime is congruent to BC, and we have an SSS triangle there, and by CPCDC, we have angle A congruent to angle A. Now for our angle bisector, we'll be given just any random angle, and we'll just call the vertex of the angle A for now. And we will take our compass, set that to any radius, and just draw an arc starting from the vertex and just intersect in both rays of the angle there. We'll take that same radius and put the needle end of your compass on the intersection of the arc and one of the rays. We'll call that intersection B for now. And just draw an arc that goes inside of the angle that you are bisecting. We'll do the same for the other intersection of the arc and the ray of the angle. We'll call that intersection point C there. 
and we'll draw the same arc inside the angle. And we'll see that these two arcs actually intersect at one point there. And that's going to be, we'll call that point D. For the construction of the angle bisector, all you need to do, you're almost done now, is just from the vertex of your angle to point D, you just draw the ray there, and there's your angle bisector. Now, this also works on SSS congruent triangles, where you have AB is congruent to AC because, well, they have the same radius, so it's kind of just definition of, uh, based on the definition of a circle, you have the same radius. These are the same length. And then we have the same thing with um, the segments BD and CD, which I'll draw in kind of just temporarily. These also have the same radius since we used the compass, so we also know that these are congruent. And then by the reflexes property, we have that AD is congruent to itself. So essentially we have triangle ABD con congruent to triangle ACD. And so we'll know that this angle here, which um, I guess angles BAD and angle CAD will be congruent by CPCTC and we've, con we've successfully uh, bisected that angle. Moving on to something probably just much more simple, we'll just be constructing a circle of a given radius, and for this all you need is your compass. Set your compass equal to the given radius. Pretty simple. Put the needle end of your compass on the center of the circle, and just move your compass all the way around, and you've drawn a circle of a given radius. And that simply works by just the definition of the circle. And lastly, for the perpendicular bisector here, we'll call our segment AB. We'll first choose a radius for our compass that is sort of between midway, uh, sorry, between half, greater than half of the length of the line segment, but still less than the line segment itself. And we'll just draw an arc above the line and below the line segment. And we'll do the same um, from point B. So we'll, oh, sorry. So we'll have two arcs on both sides of the line that intersect at one point. So we have one point here, one point here. We'll call these points C and D. And if we just draw the line CD, That's actually going to be our perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. Now this works because if you remember from earlier in geometry, um, all of the points on the perpendicular bisector are going to be equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So by using the arc lengths, uh, by using the arc, uh, the radii that. <laughs> Sorry, by using the same radii from point A and the same radii from point B, we know that point C as well as point D are going to be equidistant from points A and B respectively. And through this, we can also construct the midpoint of a line segment. So here would be your midpoint, as well as you also know how to construct a right angle now. Since it's a perpendicular bisector, you will also have a right angle there. And that's all for these five geometric constructions. Have a great day.